Here's the kick. McLaughlin knocks it high and deep. And Davis, two yards deep in the end zone, will bring it back. The wedge gets him to the 20. He breaks it at the 25. He's long drawn at the 40. It's now a foot race, and here goes Anthony Davis for a 102 yards and a touchdown. My name is Anthony Davis. <laughs> I had a gastric bypass surgery. When I told people about the pain and they didn't have any pain, he said, you got, you're out of your mind. You had to have some kind of pain. I said, I didn't have any pain. And I said, it had to be the medication they administered me through this little object called on Q Pain Buster. This is an amazing invention here. He's a former USC football superstar who came to our insider sets right before a drastic surgery. Anthony wants a picture of health at 175 pounds as a USC Trojan football player has ballooned to over 300 pounds. You know, like I've always compared myself to a, a garage Ferrari instead of a Ferrari that ran on the track. And that's what I was used to. I thought about, you know, I got to do something about my health, my weight. Down the road, I ran into uh, Mickey Shapiro. And I hadn't seen him for a while. And he says, hey, AD, I don't want to introduce you to Alan Woodgrove, the doctor who saved Carney Wilson's life. And I stood up jokingly and says, hey, maybe you can save my life. Had my surgery March 11, 2006, 7.30 in the morning. Too early for anything. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Carney Wilson, and welcome to the Scripps Memorial Hospital in La Jolla, California. We are here today live via the internet. You have major surgery. I mean, it's you know, it's rough. I wasn't really nervous. I was sort of excited to have the procedure and get it done because I was looking to get forward to get back to the ways of my lifestyle that I'm used to and what people have known of me. I tell you that Anthony Davis is a nightmare for Notre Dame. The mere fact that you see me sitting here with a suit on, couldn't wear a suit for seven years, I look, I look forward to doing that. I mean, I couldn't even bend over and tie my shoes without getting out of breath or, or uh, climb a flight of steps. When I came out of the post-surgical situation, I had no pain, and, and the medication from uh, on cue pain busters was great. I had this little, uh, this tube, this, the, the pain buster on my side. I was walking and, and doing deep breathing right after, four hours after the surgery. The nurse was next to me and I actually walked farther than she expected me to walk. And I actually wanted to walk a little more. She said, no, that's it. That's it. Go, go, go back to the bed. So I was just, my base said, well, if I'm going to have some pain, I'm going to have some pain. But the fact that I didn't have any pain was amazing to me. I would rather go into surgery with this and without it. And if you're a person who, who, who is subject to pain anyway, uh, I would definitely want to talk about the, my doctor and say, listen, how are you going to minimize my pain? And they will say, well, this is what I use, on Q Pain Buster. Any surgery I do from here on out, I'm going to use on Q Pain Buster.